joke that it's been cancer alley. I mean, everybody dies of cancer on our streets. And um, my neighbor, Sherry, who's gone due to cancer, used to work at Columbia St. Mary's, and she mentioned a study that was done. I don't know, I don't know, maybe if you guys have a leg up here with the government, um, about our area, particularly women in cancer. I don't know if this can be unearthed. But um, it was of a special in interest to me, especially now. I've been calling the company for years asking, what is in the air today? It smells horrible. And they would say, you know, again, doubting me. Um, and I would say, well, what are you burning? What are you, what are the fumes? Because you have to have a material safety and data sheet from the cartridge companies that come in. They'd say, we don't know. But there was always this blankness. So that's a concern to me. These cartridge companies have responsibility too. Um, and if they're just dumping them together and then cooking it off and spewing it out, mm -hmm. even if you extend the staff, it's just going to go up high and rain down somewhere else on, on some other community who doesn't know where it's coming from. So I don't know. I, I question sometimes if we were a different community, say a Fox Point or a River Hills, would this be happening here? Would this barrel company be here in the first place? Mm -hmm. I'm just curious. Yeah, in terms of cancer concerns, it is something we are looking at to determine whether or not there's something unusual in this case mm -hmm. in this community, either in terms of the types of cancers or the incidence rates of cancer, so to get a better idea of the, the impact of, of that exposure. <coughs> All right, it's time. All right, thank you so we'll much. The next um, the, we uh, we really appreciate you all uh, for coming out. This is uh, this is what democracy looks like, um, and it and it seems that we've had a distinguished <laughs> panel here who have provided a lot of information, but it appears that they've learned from us as well, and it given them some guidance about next steps. Um, our office, we do have these hearing slips. We're not going to tear them up. Uh, so we have uh, contact information for most of you who chose to share that with us. Um, uh, Dan Harris, uh, I believe this is his. This is his area. This is his. Uh, this is his issue area. That's the reason he raised his hand. Raise your hand, Dan. It's my man, Dan. And, uh, and I just want you all to know that I am very, very, very concerned about the environment. I think that we have a tremendous treasure here with Lake Michigan, um, uh, the, the, the Great Lakes area. It is something to be coveted, treasured, and protected, uh, all of our communities in this area. Um, uh, after the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel made its disclosures, um, we, we worked with Tammy Baldwin's office, Senator, with Christine Zanicki, with Senator, State Senator Larson, uh, and we have written letters uh, to all of these folks. And we want to thank the EPA, the Department of Transportation, um, the, um, uh, uh, the uh, Hazardous Materials uh, Divisions, um, and even OSHA, who's not present, and, and uh, the SEC, because we know that we will continue to bug them uh, uh, about what they have found. We are very concerned. This is not the last of these issues. We're gonna um, we're gonna end this session now. Although there, we could stay forever because we have a meeting on the north side uh, where the same company has been operating. We're gonna we're heading over to Village Street Library on the north side of Milwaukee. Um, so. To be continued, thank you all for coming, um, Dan. Can everybody pick up what? the waste and, and take it out as you go to help the cleaning staff? Yes. And, and the congresswoman didn't mention this, but she lives in that area where we're going that has been polluted on the north side yes. um, of Milwaukee and where I grew up as well. So, uh, and there's some cancer there too. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody.